Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite packages for Sublime Text 3 that I've been using called SETI UI. Now, SETI includes a color scheme, includes a theme, and even some nice things like file icons, which makes uh, browsing your project structure really nice and easy. So let's get going with SETI UI right now. <music> Now, SETI UI is really easily available through our package control. So if we do Command Shift P or Control Shift P on a PC and then type in package control install, just like we have for pretty much any package we've wanted to install, we can go ahead and search for SETI, which is S-E-T-I, and you'll see there's an S -E, uh, a SETI UI and a SETI UX. So if we install this, let's go ahead and grab the SETI UX as well. So we can say Command Shift P, okay, install package, and then SETI. And now SETI UX, you can say it improved a scheme and syntax highlighting for Sublime Text. Okay, great, so we now have that. Uh, it now wants you to select the theme to be SETI.Sublime uh, theme. And you can do that by simply going into, uh, by copying this line here and coming into your preferences, uh, settings, user, Inside here, you could just put it inside of here where we have a theme, you could paste this instead. I, I use a package called uh, Themer. So if I do Command Shift uh, P and then Themer, list themes. This is the easiest way for me to change themes. That way you don't have to be editing files and stuff like that. Okay, so now we have the SETI UI theme applied. Now let's apply the color scheme by simply going to preferences, color schemes, and then let's find SETI UI, select it. Okay, so you now see uh, some initial changes right off the bat. We have this nice little five next to our HTML. We have this folder icon that turns into an open folder. Uh, and let's actually see what other things we have here. It says, and here are some extra settings that you can paste into your sublime.settings. And these give you some nice things like having an extra width on your caret, uh, extra bottom on your caret, extra top on your carrot, uh, overlay scroll box is enabled, highlight line is true. These things you're gonna see the moment that we put these in here. So if we do comma on our sublime.settings, paste these in here just like that. Make sure this last one doesn't have a comma because this is a JavaScript object. Okay, you can now see a little bit of a difference. Our carrot goes above the line and below the line uh, by uh, extra three pixels on both both accounts there. It's now too wide instead of a single line. You can see I really like the uh, color scheme. It has a really nice look to it. And you get this nice line selection now that we've uh, pasted these settings in here. And we have these nice icons. And you'll see in the instructions here, it also says for better recognition of file types, uh, install this apply syntax. So if we do command shift P, package, install package, let's look for apply syntax. Okay, and it's just going to be better syntax detection. So what's really nice about SETI UI, in addition to having these nice little features like these icons for your file type, it's nice color scheme, uh, it gives you some helpful settings that just make your experience in Sublime Text better overall, and it gives you some recommendations for things to use. So let's actually see this in another project. I'm gonna open up a recent project here. You can see this has a very bit more varied file icons. So for stylus, there's a little stylus icon, npm uh, for our package.json. Uh, gulp file has the gulp logo, CSS has the CSS3 logo. So as you can see instantly, these uh, logo icons help out a ton. So check out SETI UI. I've been using it uh, for a couple weeks now and I'm pretty much not interested in using anything else for a little while. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment at the video or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter or anywhere. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.